I think it's safe to say Uzi and Faker are the two most famous players to ever play League of Legends. Their story goes back really far, too. In the 2013 World Finals, so five World Finals ago, they met in the finals, and SKT smashed them. Since then, Faker has won three World Championships. He has a chance to go to a fourth World Championship. Uzi, on the other hand, even though he's found so much success, he's never actually won anything. This could be a 20-minute game for SK Telecom. Oh my God! Good night, good night. Okay. Okay. They will be the season three world champions here at the Staples Center. Even thinking back to 2013, kind of the beginning of Korean dominance when SKT beat Royal in the final, since then, only LCK teams have won, and only LCK or LPL teams have even been in the final. So if there was someone to kind of unseat the LCK or Korea at the top, you'd think it would be China, and this would be the best time for them to do it. <laughs> RNG have the opportunity to not only give Uzi and Faker their 2013 rematch, but finally answer that question. How far ahead is the LCK? Has the LPL returned to glory? Okay. Uh, who needs knows he doesn't have orange, he's got the barrels and the key would let me look for the time. He's gonna land that again. No way out just yet, but he gets the flow. Here comes the chase, lands the key! Oh, the Chinese grab the wild! Beautiful stuff from RNG. They confirm that there were no oranges on Uni. Big first play for RNG. And who did it go zero to? Here comes Faker. The protection that you talked about, Faker is able to get the answer kill for Huni. The most important matchup is how RNG will control Huni. He's become the uh, the pressure valve for them. He's had to go more into split pushing. He creates that massive pressure. Even when he has to split push without any vision, he has to do it because SKT rely on him so much to be that focal point while they're trying to get all of their pieces in order. But Let Me and Xiaohu and RNG in general should be very well versed in how to control or handle a situation like Huni. So I don't think SKT get the same benefits or pass there as maybe they would against other isolated teams. They want Huni. Silence, there's the other ball, just pop, but it's got anywhere to go. The barrels might not matter. Uzi on a killing speed. RNG gonna walk it up the mid lane here to the Nexus turrets. Uh, 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 Uni cannot possibly 
stop this onslaught. Game one is done. RNG need two more. ああ、ロダマで健康ってめあんごでどうやってちょっと間に足りるかなんで、間に逆に3000が健康に沿ったこと締めの方面で損不だめあんでそう。あ。で、これ逆に逆に逆に逆に逆に逆に逆に逆に
얘는 얘는 완전 매스빅이야. 그러니까, 아니 거기서 얘는. 얘가 하는 얘기 뭐냐면은 바텀에서 사고 안 났잖아. 네. 근데 거기서 구인수가 너무 근데 저희가 계속 사고가 나니까 그런 픽 나오면 네. 오히려 힘들다 이거. 걔 원래 원래 한다 걔네가 한다 보는 거면 걔 구인수랑 신발 입었을 때내 내가 그냥 스태틱 나왔어야 돼. 그냥 스태틱 하나 차이 났어야 돼. 그건 맞는데 그러니까 우리가 계속 던지잖아. 걔네. SKT is the first League of Legends dynasty, and it's hard to know how long it's going to go on for. But at some point, it has to come to an end. We have decades worth of sports history from all other sports, where dynasties can be good for three years, they can be good for five. Teams can have impressive runs for ten years, but eventually, it always comes to an end. But with that being said, uh, it's one thing to beat SKT once, to beat SKT twice. It's a whole other ball game to beat them three times in a series. Their backs against the wall. RNG up two and one in the series. Double match point to be the only team to ever take down SKT at Worlds. But they would have to win two right now, back to back. Yeah, Patoma. Yeah. Shimo Patoma. 얘기 되는 거나 뭐 있으면 도움 되는 거 이래 우리 상 잡아야 돼. 어, 사이방 보상하자. 네. 이어 팔 진짜 캐리할 만해요. 아, 오케이. 캐리 안 해도 되니까 그래 해줘. 바레라 얘들아 5경기 100패 준비하고 있을게 파이팅! 집중해서 하자 집중해서 파이팅 파이팅! 바르마 소라카 노페 오케이 소라카 노페 야 걸게 걸게 봐봐 봐봐 Now the flash forward. They found the second, a double for the card ball. This should be the win for SKT. No SKT fan would have said build around bang, but that's exactly what they did. Nexus falls. SKT bring us to game five. Step number one for SKT complete. Match point for either side, do or die. One is going home, and one will move on to the finals. The drafts no longer matter. Execution is all you need. It's going to be Peanut in range. He's going to get in there. The ignite. The damage comes through. First one for Barry. The play, Flash only lands, here's the rest of the knockup, and they're gonna have all the CC they need. MLX, you're gonna drop 2-0 SKT. There's a reason they have won three world titles. It is clutch factor. The triple stun! Here's the follow through! It's gonna be two already! Chinese members are falling left and right. Uzi on the run. That's going to be five. That's the ace. And the legend of SK Telecom will not die today. SKT, masters of control, will take down the Nexus, will take down RNG, and are headed to their fourth World Championship final.
the more SKT is questioned and the more they answer that question, the stronger their legacy becomes. We've said SKT is wounded this entire world championship. They've had four best of fives in a row at Worlds go to five games, but they keep winning. Until they actually lose, their dynasty will continue.